We started Master Sounds in Leeds. For the last three years, we've been in what a beautiful place, Stockport, and we've seen it grow. And part of the amazing experience that we've had in Stockport is because of the record shops. I mean, SK1 is just a place that we can go, dig for records, and just find things that I wouldn't usually come across. And, and part of what I find so important with a record shop is Joe and Gareth, who run SK1, know your taste and they know what you like, and they'll pick things out that you'd well, you just wouldn't come across. And our musical taste, the Master Sounds musical taste, has been shaped by SK1. And that's something that I find really, really important. I find record shops as the part of a fabric of a community. So you meet loads of people, you meet people who are on the same tip as you, maybe a different tip, but you share experiences. And that's so important because it's like the, literally the hub of a, of a community. And from dub, electronica, electro, house, drum and bass, garage, you know, blues, hip hop, there's so many facets there that can go in so many directions and each time I come in you kind of go down one of those facets and that's what I find so exciting to go in a record shop that's properly curated and that's what's so exciting for me as a record collector. My whole thing behind opening a record shop was initially my collection had got out of hand because I'd been like DJing for years, travelling all over the place and just picking up records wherever I was and then bit by bit started buying job lots for one record and then being stuck with boxes of records that I needed to get rid of. So just naturally just kind of fell into it, started selling on Discogs and then got a feel for it, just finding new music all the time. Just broadened my horizons completely, started buying all sorts of stuff like folk and psych that I'd never really been into, but out of intrigue or, you know, sample material or whatever. I mean, I've been making records under the name Synchro for like, 15 years now nearly. Since starting out, I've moved through loads of different genres like dubstep, techno, ambient, drum and bass, and eventually ended up on Apollo Records, which is like the uh, ambient sub-label of r &S. Well, when we came here, it was still pretty rough around the edges. Between us, Rare Mags, Plant Shop, a few others that have popped up since we came here, it's like every week it seems to be getting busier and busier, and there's obviously taste for records in Stockport because there's always been shops here you know, an underbank's always been the place where the shops are. Yeah, it's, there's a big community of musicians around here. And obviously with Strawberry Studios and, you know, Factory Records, Joy Division, things like that, there's like a, a big legacy of it in the area. I mean, we, we get a lot of young heads coming through that are like, you see them one week buying Smith's records, and then next week, you know, they're buying like heavy metal records, and then eventually they're buying Aphex Twin records, and then they're buying library music to sample, you know, it's like, We've had a few kids over the last four years, we've seen them grow from like just record enthusiasts to like yeah. people that want to be in the record industry, you know, like either producing records or rapping or whatever, you know, managing or DJing. And it's really important to have something locally so that, you know, the youth of Stockport don't have to travel into Manchester yeah. to do that. This box here is a bit of a random one. It's literally just come in today. I mean, there's a few Kitaro, classic Japanese ambient stuff. You know, it's, it's always good. Sabres of Paradise, can't go wrong with that. You know, it's, these literally just came in today. So we've got, you know, tack head again on new sound stuff. We've got stuff coming in every day, you know, it's, and it's all like predominantly secondhand. Like we do, we, we do get the odd new release in, but we like to focus on, you know, secondhand material and, and even stuff that may only be a year old that a DJ's played a few times and he's got sick of it's like we'll always take it you know and it's just keep things moving keep the whole community moving like there's a there's a new wave of producers coming through the smaller areas like Stockport and the likes you know it's, you don't need to be in a big city anymore it just felt natural to you know open up down here and carry on the Stockport legacy of uh, record shops.